Well, let's see what Steve might say nine. Well, I heard the other day that Alec Baldwin was charged with involuntary manslaughter, and I had an initial an instant reaction to it, but I didn't have time to read any articles or watch any videos, but I just sat down and did that for about half an hour, and now I have an opinion. Now, here's my two cents, my very valuable two cents. Um, I think this is absolutely ridiculous and sets up an incredibly dangerous standard for actors that they are supposed to take over the roles of um, armory people and, and the safety people on set and take on the responsibility. That's not their job. The job is to act. The job is to be in the character and to create a performance. It's not their job to check if a gun works. If I, I mean... If I was an actor on set and someone handed me a gun, I wouldn't even know how to check it. And the idea that I'm responsible for checking that properly, and if I don't check that properly, I'm responsible, not the person who handed it to me, not the person who prepared it, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. And I can't believe people... Well, I know the reason why people are so okay with this is because Alec Baldwin is not the most popular celebrity and he's very much um, a left-wing person, and the right-wing hate him. I don't think the left-wing particularly right like him anyway, because he hasn't always been the nicest person. I think he scored some points when he played Trump, but um, he he just you know he just had a really bad run with the press for years, and with um, his fans and the public. So I think that is more a factor than than responsibility and I think it's really ridiculous and I find it just really disturbing because every actor now who's on any TV show where there's a gun is is going to have to be responsible for that gun and not the armory not not the person who's actually preparing it because apparently they all are responsible and if you don't check if you don't double check that the person who did it didn't do it right you're as responsible as them for not doing their job, apparently. That is ridiculous, and I can't believe that. And I think this is very political. I think if this was some extreme right actor guy, if this was um, Dean Cain or um, Tim Allen or someone like that, this wouldn't be happening. If this was some pro-gun person, this wouldn't be happening. Because it's Alec Baldwin, they are being ridiculous. Um, now let's have a look at this article from ABC News in Australia. Hollywood actor Ali Baldwin was on the set of the new film Russ when the prop gun he was holding went off, killing a cinematographer and wounding a director. A New Mexico prosecutor has now... Oh, it's a New Mexico prosecutor? So it's being prosecuted in the area? Oh, that might change a few things. And now she will charge Baldwin and Amra Hannah... Therese Reed with involuntary manslaughter. Now she should be charged because she prepared the gun. It was her job. It was not his job. People saying, oh, he's the producer. He hired her. Yeah, he hired her to do her job. He's, he was there as a producer in regards to working on the story and to have story credits and, and that sort of thing. He's, he wasn't there doing her job. Calm down. Stop ranting. Finish the article. Um, after more than a year of investigation into the October 2021 shooting on a film set. Baldwin last year sought to clear his name by suing people involved in handling and supplying and loading the gun that was handed to him on set. So what actually happened and why is he now facing charges? Well, one thing that happened which I find kind of disturbing is that the director, uh, I'm not going to read the whole article, the director David Halls, um, who was the assistant director, sorry, um, who handed Baldwin the gun, um, Basically, he signed a plea agreement for the charge of negligent use of a deadly weapon um, with the prosecutor, Mary Charmack Altwees. So, so basically, the, the assistant director who handed in the gun has sort of gotten out of any blame, and the lady who prepared the gun is being charged, and the guy who fired the gun is being charged, but the person who fired the gun has no more responsibility than the director, because they were given the gun, by the armorer, and she apparently did an awful job. This was not the first time there was an accident on that set. There were live rounds mixed up with um, um, blanks and so forth. It was a mess. So, and that was all her responsibility. And even if he was the produ one of the producers, he wasn't in charge of all that. He was there as an actor, and a lot of actors take producer credits to get more money or to have more script control or more control of their performance, more say in the final film, not because they're actually there doing a job like that. So I think this is absolutely outrageous, absolutely disgusting. I think it's absolutely political. And if this was another actor, some right-wing nut job, 
gun lobby person, then he would be fine. They'd be like, you know, fine with it. And it'd just be the armourer who would be in trouble for it. And, I mean, it's also the assistant director didn't check. So two people were in between that gun and Alec Baldwin. So she was supposed to have done her job. The director was supposed to have checked. So what, the actor, the third person who's handling the gun, is supposed to check the last two people, you know, did their job? It's ridiculous. And I think this sets up a really bad precedent and standard, and it's going to make things a lot very difficult for actors in the future. Um, and they really should just be able to focus on acting. <laughs> I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this travesty of justice. Bye.